Hey guys, it's Devin, and today I am going to be doing the Netflix challenge. I saw this on Thomas Sanders' channel, and I know he didn't make it completely. I don't know who made it, but I decided to give it a go. Pretty much me and an opponent picked 10 mixtures of TV shows and movies that we pretty much just read the description of to each other, and the other person has to guess. So for this, I need an opponent, and I have... My sister Drew, my lovely younger sister. Younger, you better like scrunch down. <laughs> younger sister. Is there gonna be a punishment if we lose? Someone has to jump off the butt make No punishment. It's just all for fun. <laughs> Round one. Can we like cut out names? I was just, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. To earn cash, roommates blank and blank start a babysitting service and quickly discover just what an adventure babysitting can be. Is this Adventures in Babysitting? Baby is this a babysitter's club? No. One guess. Okay, TV show or movie? TV show. Have I seen this? Oh, this is Sam and Cat! Yeah. Oh! Point Devin! TV show. This hit sitcom follows the merry misadventures of six 20-something pals as they navigate the pitfalls of work, life, love, and 1990s man. Do you have friends on yours? Is that what it is? Okay. On two, it's all tied up. Cursed with a cruel school principal and parents, a little girl discovers her hidden powers, which she uses to stand up to Matilda! Her. Yeah. I loved Matilda! That was like my favorite book when I was a kid. Okay, sisters, blank, blank, and blank, grow up with three devoted father figures, their widowed dad, Oh, for a Oh, oh for a Oh, oh, oh. Too easy. Wow. Okay. Blank blanks, summer vacation, disintegrates into one misadventure after another, including a disastrous attempt to start a lawn mowing business. It's a movie. A lawn mowing business. Uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Yeah! This hit comedy chronicles the Foibles of disgruntled office workers led by deluded boss Michael Scott at the Dunder Milk. Oh, the office. office. <sighs> okay. Wow, we made this too easy. A desperate dad must match wits with a sleazy Santa, a stressed out mailman, and a horde of parents to to procure a hot new toy on Christmas Eve. Is that jingle all the way? Yeah. Yeah? Damn. Oh, I'm just, I, that, I don't know if I win if that's a good thing, because then that just shows how much Netflix I want. We saw that together. I wouldn't guess that. This offbeat drama charts the ups and downs of an interracial lesbian couple and their multi-ethnic brood of biological adopted children. The Fosters. <sighs> Alright then. I even cut out foster children because I didn't think you'd get it. What'd you change it to? I just said, um... Biological adopted children. When two old school grandparents are saddled with their three high tech grandchildren for a week, someone needs to adapt quickly, but who will it be? Oh my god! That's the one with Billy Crystal, what's it called? <laughs> Pretzel Guidance! Do the winner dance. Okay, when two girls who seem to Polar opposites meet at summer camp. They do oh, the parental trap. Or yeah, the parent trap. The parental trap. The, the parental, parental trap. trap. <laughs> the parent trap. A ten-year-old dreamer's imaginary friends come to life to see him, to seek his help battling a nefarious baddie. Is that short for in love, girl? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! I was like, what else can it be? Rudderless without their missing leader, four formerly tight high school friends band together when a blackmailer threatens to spill their dirt. The Breakfast Club? No. Yeah, yeah, The Breakfast Club <laughs> has a leader and they left. And they left? And they left. So it's Rudderless without their missing leader. It's a TV show. I was gonna do it too. I've never seen an episode of this TV show. What are you gonna do this one? What is it? Do you give up? It's Pretty Little Liars. 
I was gonna do that! <laughs> I love that show too. Buffoonish blank blank and his dysfunctional family experience wacky misadventures. Buffoonish? Is this a TV show? That is the most vague description of a TV show I've ever seen. You didn't see it? Well, I heard it. Is it a kid's TV show? No. Can you read it again? Buffoonish? Is it like blank blank as in one person's name or two yes. people's name? Buffoonish blank blank and his dysfunctional family experience wacky misadventures. Is that Boy Meets World? Yeah. I've seen this, right? Oh wait, I cut out a part. Mm. No hold barred animated show, Buffoonish blank blank and his dysfunctional family experience wacky misadventures. Animated? I don't watch. Is that Family Guy? Yeah? I was gonna do Family Guy too, and I've never seen Family Guy. When a mysterious woman arrives in a small North Carolina town, she begins a new life but remains haunted by a terrifying secret. Did I do the <laughs> I was gonna That's do this one too. Dark. I know what it is. I just did it because I just watched it. I know what it is. I know it. I know it. I. It's the one with Josh Duhamel. Mm -hmm. Safe Haven. Yes. I'm proud of you for that one. Thanks. After moving his family back to his hometown, Blank and his grown up childhood friends learn lessons from their kids and some of the locals. Grown ups? Nope. Lessons from their kids. I've seen this, correct? I have no idea. Yes. No! That was so hard. Okay. A group of seniors who are having a hard time leaving high school. High school musical three. I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Two buddies know how to use a woman's hopes and dreams for their own carnal gain and their mod modus operandi life life. It's the, it's the title of the movie. That is so vague. Can you give me a hint? No. Like, who's it starring? Marley and... I didn't say who it was! No, that's what... No, that's not... That's not what it is. That's your hint. Can you read the description again, please? Sure. Two buddies know how to use a woman's hopes and dreams for their own carnal gain, and their modus operandi... Like... Marley and me is my hint? I have no idea. Wedding Crashers. Well, I've seen part of Wedding Crashers. Awakening from a long winter nap to find a subdivision in their backyard, a colony of critters is forced to Over face- Over the hedge. I, I give uh, up. Disney movies are my thing though. Okay, last round. <laughs> Two Do you want me to go first so it's like the stakes are higher, like I have to get it if you don't get it? Sure. Blank Blank and her pals go on a school trip to Rome where Blank's mistake. Oh, Lizzie McGuire. No. Rome? Duh. It's not called Lizzie McGuire. The Lizzie McGuire movie. I can it. <laughs> now it's your turn. You have to get it. Okay. You were dad! Two black FBI agents. White chicks! Yeah, it but is! I still win! Because you didn't get one in Crashers. Drew wins, and I have to go jump buck naked off the roof now. Yep. So, bye! So that is all I have for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and follow me on all of my social media. And the question of the day I have for you guys now is... Can I ask a question? Sure. Okay, question of the day. If anyone watches Lizzie Bennet Diaries, do you believe that I am living with real life Lydia? So I hope you guys So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and just be on the lookout for my next video that's all for me and my shelfie. Get out! Can you not touch things? Can I have it? No! Should you like, comment, and subscribe? Wait, I wanna do it.
blocked me on Instagram. I'm <laughs> this is my life. It's like their own question. Like, what's your favorite movie? Do you oh, not watch no. my videos? No. When you get popcorn, what do you put on it? No, when you get pizza, what do you put on it? No, if you're a vegetarian, what do you eat? Please tell me. I'm dying. I'll just stay here. So, look, I look like Elsa. Let it go. There's gonna be a whole montage at the end of just those stupid things you're saying. Wait, do the elephant. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> and that's the first and last you'll see of my baby sister. Stay tuned for a montage of the stupid things Drew says. No. Click out right now, unsubscribe. Well there.